Hello everyone, this is the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. What does it mean to be a light onto the nations? We have the opportunity to speak with Barak Sela, a member of an Israeli organization called Operation Human Warmth, which helps Syrian refugees by giving them warm clothing for the winter. Let's take a closer look. Israel is known uh, as an innovative country, um, but there's a lot of things that are happening uh, within Israel that, are, are, that go beyond technology. Uh, being a light onto the nations, um, and you've been involved in um, the youth movement uh, in Israel and doing some uh, really innovative things to to showcase the the best of Israel um, and helping those in need, um, you know, beyond Israel's borders. So, talk a little bit about uh, your work. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'll give you a couple. Of, I'll talk a little bit about our movement. Uh, it's a nationwide uh, youth movement. It means uh, the general federation of uh, working and studying youth. It's a youth movement with uh, over 80,000 members all over Israel. Uh, Jews, Arabs, Druze, all in one movement uh, from 4th grade to 12th grade. And uh, in the past months, uh, together with the Drawer Israel movement and the Israel Flying Aid, uh, we engaged in an operation, a humanitarian aid operation for uh, Syrian refugees and displaced persons uh, called Human Worms. And, you know, when you're looking at, um, you know, opportunities uh, outside of Israel to really uh, help those in need, um, I'm sure it's not an easy task. How do you decide to uh, do this project? Well, basically, um, the civil war in Syria has caused a severe humanitarian crisis with over 130,000 dead and close to 9 million refugees and displaced persons. Um, such a mass catastrophe, only four and a half hours away from Tel Aviv. Um, I think that for a long time, a uh, majority of the Israeli public felt uh, very, very uncomfortable, it would be like an understatement, uh, that uh, such a terrible thing is happening so close, and because of the nature of the relationship between the states, it's not easy for us to help or to act or to give any aid. And uh, after a long time, uh, our uh, movement got the opportunity to uh, make this uh, uh, aid drive. And I think that as a country that was founded by refugees of war and as a democratic state in the Middle East, I think that uh, other than doing uh, 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 projects and social projects inside of Israel to, uh, to help uh, whoever we need inside Israel, we also have the obligation help who we can also outside Israel, even if it, in this case it's an enemy state. And I think that's really important is that, you know, during this conflict there's, um, there, there's, there's a clear distinction of what's appropriate uh, to do uh, to, to people and, and there's a need. And it doesn't matter if, you know, we're enemies or um, are trying to figure out that that middle ground. Um, what are you seeing from, I guess, the reaction from doing this project? Well, first of all, of course, we had our uh, our uh, difficulties in the beginning, and we were afraid that maybe the Israeli public wouldn't uh, receive this uh, operation so easily. But uh, to our surprise, it was amazing, and I can tell you, here in Israel, it got a lot of uh, a lot of attention. From all, kind, all, all over Israel, people were very happy for this operation. Uh, just uh, two days ago, I was with my movement and other movements that decided to join our operation at uh, the Education Committee in the Knesset and the Israeli Parliament uh, with uh, members of Israeli Parliament uh, that uh, invited us to praise us and to say that uh, it was very important for Israel that uh, we uh, engaged in this operation. I think that's proof that uh, the Israeli society uh, is, is ready for the, the thought that uh, it doesn't matter politics or uh, 
complex situations, but when you have an opportunity to save lives uh, and you have the um, opportunity to actually do something, then you have to do it. And uh, it was an amazing operation. Arabs and Jews together, not only Jews, but also Arabs and Druze, took part in this uh, amazing operation. How much, um, how much clothing have you amassed thus far? Okay, first of all, we started our operation with only 15 collection, collecting points across uh, Israel. But in a week or so, we grew to more than 80 collection points, all in uh, uh, Hanora, Oved, Velomed uh, clubs. We collected more than 20,000 clothing items. The objective uh, was to collect winter aid uh, equipment, clo um, coats, sleeping bags, blankets, and... Uh, and uh, in the summary, about 11 or 12 trucks full of equipment, some of 40 tons of equipment. And what are you hoping uh, for? Is there like a goal that you want to reach? Well, first of all, the goal uh, is a very simple and conceivable goal, is to uh, help to save the human life as much as we can. Uh, the catastrophe in Syria is... is it's immense. I mean, uh, we're talking about 9 million refugees and displaced persons. Um, our operation, although it, we collected a lot of items, it's, it's only a little bit of what uh, can be done. And uh, we didn't do it to, to, I mean, make ourselves feel better. But uh, first of all, try and help as much as we can. And I hope that this uh, operation will be the first of many. And I also hope that maybe uh, our operation will set an example uh, not only for Israelis and Israeli youth, but also for people all over the world that, uh, that know that you can do something. You don't have to just to sit aside and, and watch the news or read the newspaper and see how horrible everything is, but uh, maybe they can make a difference and try to do something. Even if it's small, it, uh, it makes a difference. And uh, you, you've gotten uh, pretty impressive uh, people who, besides the people that are on the ground, I mean, uh, Natalie Portman, who's filming in Israel, uh, has gotten involved. Um, how did that come to be? Excuse me? How did, how did you connect with Natalie Portman uh, to the initiative? Well, uh, I also know that Natalie Portman uh, also was uh, involved in uh, Aid for Syria in the past. And uh, we, uh, we just contacted her, her office and we asked her for some help. Uh, actually, she heard about her operation from a friend here in Israel, and uh, of course said that she wanted to uh, give and help in any way she can. And so, how how can people help? Like here in the U.S., um, is there any way? Yes. First of all, the major thing that people in the U.S. can do is that we have a we have a website set up. Uh, our operation is called Human Worms in English, but in Hebrew it's Chom Enoshi. And uh, that's the name of our uh, website. It's www.hom-enoshi.org. Uh, uh, you can find it on Facebook if you write Operation Human Warmth. And uh, our operation costs us uh, a lot uh, for trucks and, and packaging and, uh, and media and uh, communication. And uh, everything can help so we can buy more clothes and continue doing more operations. So any donations, if uh, you can spread our website or our Facebook page, it will help us a lot. As you can see, Operation Human Warmth is a powerful program showcasing the best of Judaism and helping Syrian refugees during this difficult winter. This is Aaron Harmon, and thank you for watching.